a welcome to a freezing cold, literally December morning here in Worcester. It is, there's the evidence. Look at look all that firewood I've had to go and buy because our house is freezing, but that's uh, another matter for another energy crisis based video. Anyway, I'm at Worcester Woods car, uh, Worcester Woods, oh, shall I start this again? I'm at Worcester Woods Park Run today, and the idea is I'm gonna do a progressive park run today, a progressive 5K, progressing with increments of 15 seconds, starting off with a nice leisurely six minute 5K pace. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna start this whole thing again. And then going all the way to 4.45, I think that should be, I think that could be quite a nice way to run today's park run, providing that the terrain and the conditions are safe because it's obviously very, very icy today. So let's go and get stuck in and let's see what we can do today. But wow, is it cold. <laughs> First go down, 5.57. Right, let's pick it up by 15 seconds. Kilometer two, so a bit fast. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Split should look a bit better. Cheers mate. Okay, looking for a 515 now. Here we go. I think because after Amsterdam, I sort of took it down quite a lot of notches. I just didn't do much much training, many long runs, and I think I've lost a bit of fitness because of that. Sometimes you do a tempo pace, it feels okay. Sometimes it's hard. It's quite tough today. And the good news is I miscalculated. So my fifth K, so my fifth K only has to be at five minute pace, not 4.45. So that feels good. Cheers guys, thank you. I think I, said, I, think I just said cheers guys to a man and a dog. Anyway, here we go then. Five minute pace. Let's pick it up. Thank you. Cheers, lads. Let's pick up the pace slightly to finish. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Done. 
4.57 last lap as well. Good times. Wow. That was a chilly one. Woo. Be cold. Right, before we look at the split of Rooney's, let's see some, go and see some people smashing their final sprints. Well done, guys. Great running, everyone. Well done. Yes, great running. Well done, everyone. Well done. What a sight on a Saturday morning. People smashing those goals. We love it. We love to see it. Lovely stuff, everyone. Well done. Great finishing. Great work. Wow, this is just so awesome watching people from this angle. Everyone's doing so well. Love it. What a parkrun this is, by the way. Worcester Woods parkrun, not to be confused with Worcester Pitchcroft. This is the trailing one, not the race course one. And it's a bit harder. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done, mate. Keep going, keep going, bud. So the aim was 6, 5.45, 5.30, 5.15, and a five minute split. And what, we've, what we actually got was 5.57, 5.37, 5.31, 5.07, 4 So the splits do look quite nice. Um, they were incrementally increasing apart from kilometre two, I went out eight seconds too quick. So I'm completely reliant on the, on the watch really for pacing. I mean, what else are you gonna rely on unless you've got an actual pacer? But it's really useful to have your watch set to your average uh, pace as well as your lap pace if you do want to do this kind of run. Otherwise, just do it on feel and you know, that might suit you better doing it that way. But I'm just trying to get my car key out of my pocket at the same time as talk to you. So yes, a successful morning here at Worcester Pitch. Uh, no, it's not Worcester Pitchcroft. This is Worcester Woods. And another park run in the bag and it's really good to run in these conditions and I can't make I can't make any excuses because the mud was all frozen so it felt like running on tarmac anyway but it's just a little bit undulating this course so it was uh, was a little bit more tough than your average park run but anyway that's enough for today nice short sharp video for you I hope you've enjoyed it the training I am just ticking over until I start my marathon training block in the new year actually it's boxing day I'll be starting a 16 week plan for Manchester so I'm just keeping things ticking over, doing about 30 to 40k, maybe not even that, a week. And then Manchester will uh, be my main focus from Boxing Day onwards. But until then, I will just remain just having fun and just doing little things like this, setting myself little challenges like progressive runs, um, the occasional you know long run but nothing nothing crazy nothing too structured i'm just having fun with my running i'm loving my running at the moment and i'm actually loving not training for anything because it's taking all the pressure and it's actually quite nice not to have a, a, a huge weight on my shoulders you know thinking about a tr you know constantly thinking about training so anyway i'll see you on the next video whatever that may be about take it easy you guys Ta -da.